Some new cover lovers, it's of course the Cover Boy Chronicles, and it's of course the Cover Boy. Right now, I'm giving you the fashion police review of the Golden Globes, and so let's go ahead and make a quick statement before we dive into the must see looks of the night. I absolutely enjoyed Fashion Police last night watching it on E. That's why I did that. That's why I waited until today to make that good um, record. But I, I I enjoyed watching Fashion Police last night. It was absolutely great. And I just want to say keep going for you guys and, 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 and keep the legacy alive because I'm sure John would greatly appreciate that coming from one fashion place and you will definitely for my new cover lovers this fashion police ain't going nowhere okay you hear me let's start this off with the must see looks of the night and I absolutely I love love Melissa McCarthy and she was she she embodied like I'm a great actress okay I know my worth and I know that I can make something out of nothing. So I'm going to pull something out of this closet. I'm going to have one of my great stylist friends come over and find something for me to wear. So that way I don't have to really just go and wear this big uh, uh, amazing gown or something like that. I can just be simple and just do some quick stitching and look like Julia Roberts last year because <laughs> that's exactly what she did but it, and it was uh, Dolce and Gabbana but, I, but anyway moving forward I loved your look Melissa you keep doing what you're doing girl uh, Gina Rodriguez she was wearing Begling Mishka and I absolutely thought that this was for this to have been her first Golden Globes and her doing it like that she was feeling a little fancy so I, I I was like, okay, girlfriend, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. And and I enjoyed I enjoyed her just winning that night and just the overall glow that she had. You know. Um, now a lot of people may have some some criticism until you hear who number one is, and then when I show you the picture down at the bottom, what it looks like for her, you guys are gonna be like, okay, I see why he did it. So, Jessica Chastain is number three in Versace. Now, I felt like her her look was a freaking amazing. She and I had a hard time that I want her as number two, number one. Who beats who? But you will see within number one. Um, number two was Kate Hudson, and you know she embodies like a real glamorous movie star you know like she comes she comes from that background you know her parents and all and I just feel like she she really embodies a movie star and I just I I love me some Kate Hudson from dawn until dusk cutting um I say uh she and she was if I didn't say she was also wearing Versace I just I I look for a lot of things in my number one when I give you guys the must see looks of the night and and I I always say who looks other than just the sexiest who looks the slickest who looks the classiest who looks more like a lady at this prestigious award ceremony like who's gonna give it to me who's gonna give it to me full force with the fashion fierceness so I gave my number one to Felicity Jones. She was wearing Christian Dior and quite frankly she embodied that all for me. Class, sophistication, a true woman, you know, I just I lived for the overall essence and the glow that that woman had when she brought that to that red carpet because baby she was one of the best blushing beauties and she was my best dress of the night. So, I'm going to move that on and say that that's the name of my next category, Blushing Blueties. And we'll start with the first one of the night, which was Amy Adams. And she was wearing Versace. And I thought that, you know, she's always got those very unique 
colors that she picks when she when it comes to her and the red carpet. So Amy Adams is someone that I look forward to seeing what she's going to bring to the red carpet. You know, so I keep saying, do what you do, Amy. You know, I, I look forward to putting you on one of my must-see looks of the night, honey. Um, Katherine Heigl, she was wearing Zach Posen. I felt like her Zach Posen was absolutely breathtaking. It was a great, um, a great dress for her. You know, a nice little flash of the leg never hurt nobody. Uh, my next blushing beauty would be Maria Menounez. And for her to have not been working that night, I don't think she was. Um... For her to have not been working that night and just working that red carpet grass, she was still at work. You always punching the clock, whether it's on that red carpet or whether you presenting the red carpet or something of that nature. Baby, you're doing it. And she was working it, especially with that nice design and the beading and whatnot. Just loved it. Love it. Sure, fantastic. My next category is called the lovely fantastic women. It's not that. It's more so because I love the fact that a lot of these women were just like, you know, red is a specific color that you're going to pick on, on a red carpet. So it's the rubies at red is the name of the category. And I felt like my first ruby should have definitely been Helen Marin. She and Dolce and Gabbana, oh, of course. I love me some her acting. I love her just essence. Like, I love me. Like, if it's not, if it's not Meryl, it's Helen. If it's not Helen, it's Judy. And Judy really doesn't give it to me on that red carpet. She gives it to me in that performance. I can look for that. But Helen, she will give me both fashion and she will give me a great performance on that stage. So I just say kudos to her and you are a breathtaking, fabulous old school actress that does whatever she wants on that runway and whatever she wants when it comes to being in front of that camera or on that stage. Go ahead, Helen. Do your thing, Grant. Allison Williams was wearing Armani, and she was considered, like, a favorite. Like, a lot of people loved her dress, and I thought it was great, but it wasn't a musty look of the night, you know? So, if, if it wasn't a musty look of the night, then, I mean, hey, on this show, you would want to be on the musty look of the night. You would not want to, you, if, you, if you're not on the, I'll tell you the best way to, I'll tell you later how to get on the bad list on this show, on the, on, the, on the Fashion Police review of it. Um, Viola Davis was wearing Donna Karen. Now, honestly, I loved Donna Karen at the end of last year, right? So, because her collection was absolutely fantastic, beautiful, like, she beat Diane for me, okay? And that's saying a lot. So, I just, it didn't really look like a, a Donna, but it, they said it was a Donna, so... Hey. Um, speaking of someone who was just a great, one wonderful woman who normally wears Miss Karen, but she wasn't that night, it was Catherine Zeta-Jones. And I love me some her. She's just breathtaking whenever she graces that red carpet. I just... She does, and I and rarely do you ever see her, you know, she gets sex appeal, but she also gets classy, sophisticated woman who knows her stuff. And I, that's the one thing I do love about Catherine, uh, Catherine Zeta. So I say kudos to her and keep doing what you do, Greg. Now, Lena Dunham, she was wearing Zach Posen, and she wore Zach Posen last year. And she, that was when she was wearing that lovely yellow that I just, that she just gave me my life. And she just pulled through on, and I just, I lived for her. But I just, I don't know. I just, I, I, I love this dress for her, and I can't wait for her to continue being a a fashion darling. I'm glad that people are starting to get into her dress the way she dresses. And um, I really do believe like and then not only that, Juliana has said that 
she this was like one of her best dresses. No, that that Zach pose that yellow Zach posing was was amazing, and she's gonna have a hard time topping that one. I tell you that much. So. Uh, moving forward, let's go into the Fifty Shades of Play. Who remembers that category? Now, let's see. It wouldn't be right if we didn't have the leading actress who graced us with her lovely presence at that wonderful award ceremony, Dakota Johnson, and she was wearing Chanel Couture, and I loved her dress. It was I didn't love it so much to the point where it beat out any of my must-see looks of the night, but I just, I do think that it was close. It was one of the ones that was close. That's why she's the leading lady. So, I live for the dress. It was amazing. I look forward to watching the first movie. Uh, Je Jennifer Lopez was wearing Zuhair, Zuhair Mara, and I love me some Jennifer. Like, she always, she's, no, she's like one of those ones that I know will go to an award ceremony, and if she's not on my must-see list of the night, she's definitely in one of the categories. So I never really have to worry about Jennifer. I know she's going to make some type of list. But I just, I love the, the effort that she puts into, um, and, the, and the overall approach that she puts into the award ceremonies and the uh, look that she has to give, not just on stage off. But I was expecting like a boom you know her to get out there and do that shimmy that she does I was expecting that from that dress it did look like you could reveal something it did look like a stage dress but I feel like if she wore it on stage it would feel like it was it 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 would have had to have been like she's walking from the red carpet and then she's doing the boom do 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 but you know what I'm saying that 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 would be her but I don't know. I, I just, I love the dress. I will say that. Julianne Moore, she was wearing custom Givenchy. And I felt like this was a, a lovely approach to feathering at the bottom. And, and just, and it made her glow, you know. And I believe, didn't, didn't she win an award that night? I know I wrote, yep, she won for Still Alice, uh, Best actress in a motion picture drama so I, kudos to her for that night and kudos to what she was doing I I, I think she won all, all, all the way around okay so I w decided since I just love the name of this title or the name of this, this is going to be the only thing that I will ever say for white so it's only in white that you will see Emily Blunt and Michael Kors and it just looked so great like it was it was one of those things that it kind of reminded you of what was on his runway but it, it was kind of like a taste of like uh, what a celebrity should be wearing so it, it kind of was one of those things that you you think nah, maybe it was custom for her so I don't know just just something a, a mere thought now only in white would you see Ros Rosama Pike and Vera Wang. Okay, now her Vera Wang was it was it was very popular. A lot of people was was living for it. The fact that it just it looked effortless and it was just like one of those dr in the back. That's that was my favorite part. I wasn't so much necessarily the the front side person, but I loved the back and the and the the way the back just made her look just great and like her pictures if she if she took her pictures from the side or whatever the case may be oh my goodness that would have been just there were only a few of them that I saw but weren't that many so uh let's see the last person I was I was going to go ahead and give it to I'm just going to give it to you I thought Juliana Rancic looked really, really great in white. So um, that designer that she had, that amazing designer, kudos to you. You should style her for the Oscars. Perhaps not the sex, but I would definitely say the Oscars dress for her. So uh, Juliana notes herself, do that again. Okay? Now, 
this is how you get on my bad list. A, a lot of people wonder how you get on uh, my bad list. I play a game with you. I tell you what, it's called, the, the game is called What You Will and What You Won't Do, okay? It's my classic fashion police read. I, I do that often for the summer because a lot of people think that, that they will do something and that I really come back to shut you down and say that's what you're not going to do. And I'll tell you somebody who will do that the right way. Okay? So, for example, what you will not do, Emma Stone, is go there. I mean, granted, yes, a lot of people loved your dress and a lot of people thought it was the most fantastic dress or the most fantastic outfit of the night. And this is how you wear pants. <laughs> Wrong. That is not how you wear pants to the Golden Globe. I'm sorry, Emma. I love you so much, okay? It's no shade. But what you will do is come here like Laura did. You know, she was true to her aesthetic, and, like, she... You can tell, like last year, Taylor Swift was on the um, Golden Globes, at the Golden Globes, and she was effortless, you know, so I'm sure she got tips from her, like, how do you do that, how do I go there and be true to myself, but dress like, you know, what, what I'm called to do, and she aced it, like, that's how you wear pants, in my opinion, that's how you wear pants, okay, so... Just a little thought for those who are thinking about stepping on the at the Saks red red carpet with some pants. I I bet not see it. And if I see it, I promise you, I'm going to read you again. Okay. So what you will what you will not do, Claire Danes, is give this 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 feathered look. Now it just it it was not something that I I liked. If it's going to give the feathered look, then at least for those people who try to get Lupita together, it's what you will do for Lupita because it may not look like a whole bunch during that, but when she flapped that dress open, it looked like she was ready to go take off. And honestly, that's what Claire Dane's dress should have been trying to do, take off on that damn red carpet. So, it did not. It was a fail and no. How about that? Now. The next person, which you will do, is come there like Anna Kendrick, okay? If you're going for a floral ideal. Now, that terrible, horrible idea, and it was 30 people who took it, 30 people who it took to make this wonderful name of a dress. That should have only been an art display. It was Chanel. And guess who was wearing it? Kira Knightley. Absolutely not. That's what you will absolutely not do. Okay? Don't ever let me see anyone do that at a red carpet. I will roast, fry, and cook you, and it's not even winter time. Or it's not even summertime. My bad, you guys. Anyways, I just feel like that was just late. So that's my worst dress of the night. I'm sorry. So I put the spotlight on them. Just four people. Just because I was like, I, I really wanted to talk about their dress. I loved Katie Holmes. I love the fact that, you know, no one really necessarily runs that 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 wonderful idealist of a woman when it comes to her the way she dresses sometimes. I I that the last time I saw her on a red carpet, wasn't it at the Met Gala, and it just, it looked okay, but it wasn't okay, I, I do remember that, but, um, this one was an A plus for me, it wasn't too bad, but it wasn't too good, but it, it was better than what, what it was last, so, I, 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 I appreciate that, Jennifer Anderson, she was wearing Say Duron, I thought that she looked great, and, you know, it was just a perfect um, LVD, not little black dress, long black dress. <laughs> it, was, it was definitely one of those. I thought it was cute and just, it reminded us of the sparkle of that American sweetheart that's still single that Wendy Williams will not stop picking with. 
So I just kudos to her and just keep doing what you're doing, Jennifer. You 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 you're doing something, Greg. You're doing something. So let's go ahead and go into Carrie Washington. She was mar wearing Mary Kadrusku, and I I liked the overall essence of what it it was supposed to look like because it was very different you know you would never really expect to see someone wearing something like that on the red carpet and it looked really great i just felt like she could i feel like if it, if you were going to make it short you should have made it short if it was going to have that that look like with the leg it's going to have that look with the leg if it if it needed to be on the ground it should have been on the ground where it was but um, watch, like next season, because remember a lot of people were wearing, um, were, uh, when she was pregnant, she wore that uh, crop top and it looked fierce. So watch people be wearing this next season. I guarantee you, I guarantee it. So the next person that I just kind of wanted to say just gave me an A++++. plus 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 plus. If you want to go simple, chic, um, classy, sophisticated, sexy, whatever. Kate Beckinsale. Whoever this, whoever this designer was, whoever styled her, whatever the case may be, like that is perfect. That is sheer genius. That is exactly how I want you to come to a um, big prestigious award ceremony and you just not really feeling like you want to hey you not really feeling like you want to do something or like if you're not nominated if you're if you're just there to chill like Lupita was trying to do that's all she was that's why she wasn't really too oh I'm about to get classy and da 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 like she was last season that's why she didn't get all the way dressed up if you will so, I mean, like, I felt like I was glad that she was just sitting back, you know. She's like, I got my movie that's about to come out. I'm chilling. So, I just, I felt like I, I lived for a lot of the people that were, you know, in the, the sheer essence of the night, I guess you could say. So, be sure to tweet the show, New Cover Lovers, Cover Boy Chronicles, my Facebook, my like page my Instagram and be sure to like, comment, and y'all know what to do. Subscribe to the Spirit Soul Star, my YouTube channel, and let me know what you guys felt about this wonderful, amazing video, okay? Alright, you guys. See you at the Selma Review.